Where is the real estate market heading in 2023? The second half of the year is harder to predict, so let's start with the first six months or until the end of the summer because um, mental math is hard and that's typically when the market starts to shift a little bit when kids go back to school. So no matter what you hear in the news or social media or out and about, what you must start with when predicting where the real estate market is going is two things. Number one, supply and demand. And number two, stability. Meaning, are we making any big jumps or drops in rates, prices, inventory, or are things staying relatively the same? These are two basic economic principles that you must pay attention to when predicting the market. What we saw over the last two years was unhinged, rabid demand for homes. Now our demand has been rehinged and is much more calm. But that rabies-induced demand decimated our inventory. And while we recovered a little bit last year, we never got much above half our previous normal inventory. So demand is more normal, but supply is still extremely low. So that's number one, supply and demand. This can change throughout the year and we have to pay attention to that going forward to predict the rest of the year. Now, number two, stability. While the rate increases shocked people a bit last year, the rates have stabilized and people are starting to get used to these rates. We've stabilized in rates and in inventory. Neither is ideal, but it's stable. This is going, this is now getting normal to people. And when things, when we get used to things, uh, we feel more comfortable moving forward. This is going to increase demand. And we've already started to see that a little bit at the beginning of the year in the real estate market. If we see rates drop or increase more than 1% in a few weeks or less, we've entered back into uncertain territory in, in the minds of the public. And that will affect things. So. What's going to happen in the real estate market through the end of July? To put it simply, I think demand will increase. Remember, supply and demand and stability or normalcy as we watch the market this year. We saw a dip in home prices in the second half of 2022. I think those prices will start to increase uh, again for the first half of the year because of that increased demand from um, you know, all, we have a bunch of pent up demand over the last two years. Uh, that being said, with the fatigue that was created from the last two years and the, the increase in rates of the last year, I don't think we'll see the market fully unhinged again. If more sellers jump into the market in the spring, I think we will see a much more normal market this year. If inventory plummets, if rates drop and inventory plummets, I think we'll see the market stall similar to what we saw in the second half of 2022. Some homes in that scenario, some homes have lots of competition and other homes are overpriced and they sit. Uh, so that's what I think is gonna happen to the end of July, a much more normal market, but remember to watch supply and demand and stability, mainly with rates and supply. These things are gonna dictate how 2023 pans out.